Hello everyone, I'm Ben Coleman, one of your many hosts here for the Florida Aviation Network. We're coming to you live and in the clear, broadcasting from the Sebring Regional Airport, and uh, we're here at the 2019 Expo. See you later, Brad. Uh, and we're here in the in the thoroughfare, and this is live, did I tell you that? Uh, the Expo uh, here at Sebring is, uh, is a 2019 been here for 15 years and we're proud to have been here for all 15 years and we're looking forward to next year as well uh, educate innovate and aviate that's the theme for this year and i can't think of a better way to educate somebody other than me i'm completely ignorant on the wing bug and we got a gentleman here uh, mr brian tittle yes sir brian very nice to meet let you me do sir. this yeah. there we go i, I threw you uh, that's okay uh brian uh I have no idea what in the world is a wing bug. Well, this is the wing bug. This is a portable pedostatic ADA HARS device. Essentially what it is is the same electronics that is inside a glass cockpit that attaches to the outside of your aircraft and gives you a system independent of the airplane systems to display a six pack of instruments on an iPad. So I gotta have one. Well, that's what it seems to be a lot of people are thinking, thank goodness. Uh, and, and, and at forty nine ninety five, you can't <laughs> go wrong. Close to it. Not quite there, <laughs> but, but close. <laughs> close. Yeah, so that's what it is. It is a, a pedostatic device. It actually gives true air data. It gives your uh, attitude, your heading, your uh, airspeed, uh, your altimeter, VSI, compass, turn coordinator, all in a six-pack, very nice six-pack display hmm. on an iPad that the pilot has in the airplane. And it gets all that information by flying through the air with a true pedostatic system. It has a uh, barometric altimeter on the inside. And then there's an IMU in here and a GPS in here. And it takes all that information and transmits it by Wi-Fi back into the airplane, into the iPad. Brian, uh, and, and you know, Fitbits, uh, phones, I mean, health, health monitoring, everything. And uh, let, can I hold this? Certainly. And uh, I always come up with the same... Uh, the same thought process of how do it know how do it know right uh because i mean this you know i see some sensors i see some some ports some orifices uh, i see a plug-in because obviously got a uh it's got a battery uh, uh a battery yes, it, it, how long does the battery charge last uh, it's 12 hours it's a lithium ion battery it's a 2500 milliamp hour lithium ion battery because i get that question all the time so that's why I'm speaking so specifically about it so this mounts you can on a strut or uh, just about anywhere Actually, it's wireless. Actually, there's various ways you can mount it. When someone buys the wing bug from us, we include a, uh, a action camera type mount, a plastic type action camera mount that attaches to the wing with a VHB tape, that type of thing. But um, when we, are you showing it or passing it? <laughs> no, don't touch it. Don't okay. touch it. Um, when we, um, we've also partnered now with a company called Flight Flix that builds a aluminum CNC, very sturdy, robust, uh, mount for action cameras and they've now created a mount specifically for the wing bug so mm -hmm. you can mount it to a strut you can mount it to an inspection panel underneath the wing uh, to a tie down ring a um, uh, couple other places as well on the aircraft brian tell see that red light on that i camera? do to tell tell that those people uh, how much uh, they need to get uh, one of these if they have an ipad well if uh if you're if you're ready to go with this, I'm not sure exactly the point of the, how, what the question is. Going, you're talking the, about the, how the, much? The question is, uh, the, uh, this is this is cool. This oh, yeah. is neat. Well, uh, here, uh, at the show, we're selling these for eight hundred and fifty dollars. Okay, um, we are um, also making available the the mount for it, the, the small mount for yeah, free. Yeah. If they want the more robust mount, it's one hundred and thirty dollars, uh, and it's a very cost effective way to have backup instrumentation in your aircraft. Um, Antennas? Uh, they're all inside of there. Everything's, but, everything's inside the transmits. The Wi-Fi chip is inside of that. It's its own is, network. Is this, a, is this a port going in the back uh, of these? The, the, the port in the right back there is just for, right no, that's there. just for oh, taking, the, taking it apart to, to oh, service Oh, oh, okay. It's all sealed, so we, we service it if the customer has any issues. They can ship it back to us, and uh, we seal it. We, we fix it for them. It, it's relatively light. It is. It's 11.8 uh, ounces. It's very oh. aerodynamic. It... Um, we wind tunnel tested it at uh, about 200 miles an hour. It will um, uh, about 1.2 pounds of pressure on the front. Wow. 
I like it. I like it a lot. And, and, and again, the, the item here on the back, what is that? For? That's the power button. So you just push the button and turn it on. It finds the GPS satellite. It triangulates itself. tells mm -hmm. it exactly where it is. Because here's a feature of this that I haven't mentioned yet. is that when you're flying with this, you have the ability to record. So it'll record where the wing bug is, what it's doing, and then record all that instrumentation data as well. So now when you're done, you can come back and download what's called a KML file hmm. to Cloud Ahoy, Google Earth, some of those other mm -hmm. functions out there, and play back your flight. Hmm. So if you're a flight instructor, you can sit down with a student and say, you remember when I told you you were going in a little too, too, too low and too slow? Mm -hmm. Well, no, I don't. I didn't hear you. I was trying to fly the plane. Well, let me well, show now you. Now let me show you how it did that happen. Yeah, yeah. Um, guys can use it for flight testing. When you build a new, a lot of guys here are building new airplanes. I keep hearing, you know, Zenith and Aventure and some of those others that they're building. Right. And now when they got to do that flight testing, they can attach the wing bug and that can be their co-pilot. Record all that data. Now they can sit down safely and, and uh, record or you know, write down the information to share with the FAA. That's great. Is red good or bad? Red is good. Red is good. Yeah, flashing See, red means it's flashing flying, the, finding the GPS, and then solid red means it's found them. Excellent. Well, Brian, I, uh, I thought I knew a lot about aviation, but I don't know as much as I thought I knew. Uh, again, and this is wireless directly to your iPad. Uh, Correct. There's an iPad mount that's FAA approved in the panel now. Yes. And, uh, gosh, I'm, I'm kind of scared to say between ForeFlight or Wing X. Uh, and a good hot iPad and one of these devices, you pretty well got a good package to fly in that airplane. We Synthetic do. vision, uh, the, the works. And uh, there's some other things coming that we're working in, con con uh, in conjunction with some other companies um, that are going to make that even better. Mm -hmm. And we're a technology company. We're actually Straight Level Technologies is our, mm -hmm. our actually company name. And uh, technologies is what we do. We build airplanes with another company, but we, we do the technology thing. And that's what Wingbug is our first of that. We've mm -hmm. been on the market now for about a year, but that's after four and a half years of research and development. Mm -hmm. So we've been out there working on this for quite a while mm -hmm. um, and brought it to market um, last year. And they've had incredible, incredible response. Excellent. Because uh, the innovation, <clears throat> and, and again, here at uh, Florida Aviation Network, we're about safety. <clears throat> this is a uh, this is a safety device. It's an information uh, device of for, to come in into the cockpit to uh, let you better know where you are and what you're doing. Well, absolutely. If you lose your primary instrumentation, and by the way, this has an application from a, a Part 103 ultralight single place aircraft mm -hmm. up to a light twin. Uh, it can be used on GA aircraft because it's not a permanent alteration to the aircraft. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, in fact, there's a, an FAA guy up in DC that has one and loves it. And so he has a GA aircraft, and he puts it right on there, uses it for what he wants to do, takes it off, and takes it home and charges it when he's done. Mm -hmm. And so it, since it's not a permanent alteration, it doesn't have to have any special A&P work done or anything like that. Mm -hmm. And, of course, the experimental offers a lot of flexibility. And True. so, again, they, a lot of guys are choosing to use this in various ways there. But I like redundancy, and that's what this really oh, yeah. Uh When you talk about redundancy, I know with the uh, – with the uh, – Flight Aware uh, and uh, program, they they monitor a lot of and does this would this present a target for Flight Aware? Uh, would it be a, have a signature that could be picked up uh, if you're not in or, the or system? Or like like ADSB out? Yeah. Unfortunately, the FAA is not at this time allowing portable devices to present ADS-B out signals. Mm -hmm. This does have the chip in it for ADS-B in, mm -hmm. um, but we're looking for the right. Uh, navigation app company to partner with to provide that data to mm -hmm. them. And also now, instead of them just having GPS data, we'll be able to provide them true air data. Mm -hmm. That's the big difference with this and anything else out there on the market, yeah. is this is true air data. Well, it's uh, it's encouraging technology. Uh, I would love to see it in action, but really the only thing it's going to do uh, is give you a, a redundant source of information for like four flight uh, all of that is kind of built in sure. to the four flight program, but how would I recognize that on my iPad? Just uh, go into the uh, the Bluetooth. It has. It's actually it's Wi-Fi. It has it has its own Wi-Fi chip, and so it has its own self identifier. So it creates its own network between this device and the iPad and mm. stuff. Or the iPhone or whatever. No, just the iPad. We we just felt the like the iPhone's a little too small to really be able to see instrumentation mm -hmm. well. So we, we safety's our big thing too. As you see, our motto, fly smarter. 
Yeah. And flying smarter and flying safer is very important to us also. Yeah. Yes. And so we felt that the iPad was the best stable platform for consistency across the board. Yeah. So for a small investment of four hundred something dollars on a mini iPad or out there, and you add the wing bug to it, you know, you're still uh, you're you're still well under fifteen hundred dollars for a full set of instrumentation. Wow. The uh, I've got to give that some some consideration. We'll come by and see me. We'll talk uh, about well, it. Which which uh, expo? We are uh, in the, uh, the the tent right the right next to here and okay. uh, booth one eleven. Okay. Back and you can't miss us. We got a big wing bug canopy there. It says wingbug.com on it. I'll, and, uh, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll swing it. by and again. Uh, it's only been out for about a year. Been on market for a year, four and a half years of research and development. If we got the time, uh, basically when it came up with Alex Rolinski, who's our, our CEO of our company, mm -hmm. um, he is an aviator. We build the he builds the Aventura seaplane with Aero Adventure, mm -hmm. and he came up one day with the concept of the Smithsonian. He says, "How do I see airspeed data on my phone? Because everything else is GPS based, ground speed. It's not true airspeed." Mm -hmm. So he called his buddy Brandon, and Brandon happens to be, his day job is a uh, rocket scientist. He's a fluid dynamics engineer. Literally. Literally. Yeah. He's a real rocket scientist. And uh, uh, though I don't, I don't commend him much for that, but he is. We tease him about that all the time. But he's a great, brilliant guy, and he wrote all the code for this, put it together, and make it happen. So these well. two best friends worked together with this over four years to make it happen. And they brought me into the loop to be their business development guy and bring it out and let everybody know about it. Well, you're doing a good job, Brian. I appreciate you that. Thank you very and much. And I want to thank you for sharing uh, this technology with us today. And we're going to wrap it up. Sure, certainly. I, I, I need to get you back in the booth to sell more wing bugs. That'd be good. And uh, I'm going to come out and take a look, too. I'd like that. Ben, thank you very much. I'm going to oh. hold the mic there. And oh, there you go. Hand. Well thank done. You. Well done. Thank you. Thanks, Brian. Okay, there you go. Just when you think you know it all. How do it know? Ben Coleman, Florida Aviation Network. We'll see you next interview here from Sebring.